Morning guys, it's um, Sunday morning and I've just gone out and got my coffee and I just thought I'd sit down and, um, and answer a very common question I get and that's basically what do I eat in a day? So what does a trainer eat in a day? Um, so I thought I'd just talk you through an example of a day of what I eat. Um, basically in the morning my breakfast can vary between a few different things but usually I have my steel cut oats, okay, so I have my oats, um, say half a cup. I have almond milk, so I've recently switched to almond milk from cow's milk. Um, I just like the taste more. Um, and um, it's still got good calcium. Um, I usually chop up half a banana, put in blueberries, raspberries, I put in um, cranberries, which is so yummy, so they add that little bit of sweetness in there, nice and plump, especially the organic ones, really yummy. Um, I usually put in some flaxseed and some chia seed as well, so that's for the extra protein. And sometimes I'll put some coconut in and then I drizzle some really yummy honey on top. And I just want to quickly show you the honey I use, I'll just grab it. Alright, so if you want a really delicious honey, like I've tried so many, this one you can just pick up from Woolies or Coles. It's so good so it's golden nectar organic real leatherwood honey so give it a go it's so good in the oats it just makes it so that's something i'll have for breakfast or i'll have french toast so i'll get some really yummy sunflower sourdough chop it up um uh, whisk up some eggs with a bit of cinnamon put the bread in there put it on the fry pan get it out put that yummy honey on top a bit of really nice like vanilla yogurt the berries and some nuts and that is probably my all-time favourite. So that's an occasional breakfast that I'll have maybe once or twice a week. Um, so I'll eat that. Then for morning tea, <coughs> usually I have an apple with some ABC mix, which is almond, Brazil, and cashew nut mix. And that's really yummy. And you can get that from the health food section of the aisles. Um, and sometimes I'll have a piece of toast with that. And then for lunch, I usually have like a big salad and veggies. And it's usually leftovers. So my biggest advice to give you is cook up enough dinner to have the next day for lunch possibly even dinner the next night it's just so much easier that way you know we're constantly thinking oh what am I gonna have for lunch what am I gonna have for dinner but if you cook up enough for the two days it just takes you know a whole a whole load off your mind so it's all done um, so I'll have all that so you know in the salad I'll have cucumber carrot tomato um, say spinach rocket I uh, usually put in some goat's cheese, sometimes some nuts, add some protein, so some chicken or some um, turkey, some lamb, some salmon, so just change it up. Um, and then I might have some brown rice or quinoa on the side, and that's really yummy. And then in the afternoon, usually about three hours later is when I start to feel a bit hungry. But because I've had, and, and this is another thing, I have a lot of clients coming to me saying, oh, I'm starving by the afternoon, and then I want to eat heaps. The thing is, if you have for example, what I had in the morning, you know, breakfast, morning, tea, lunch. By the time you get to that time, you're slightly hungry, but only slightly, and you only need something small to tie you over to dinner. And that could be a yogurt or a handful of almonds, um, a few apricots with a few Brazil nuts. Um, and then you have that, and then, you know, about two hours, three hours later, you have dinner, and, you know, whatever your dinner is, it could be a stir fry, it could be good fish, it could be, it could be a steak. Um, it could be a pasta dish, um, but you won't feel absolutely famished that you want to that you need to overeat. So you would only have a small portion. Um, and then I also get sugar cravings after dinner. So my biggest thing for sugar cravings is to have a Bengal spice tea, which is like a little bit. It tastes sweet. Um, it's just a tea. And then I also have a date. Dates I love. Like you get the really big juicy ones, and I eat it slow, and it really does. Um, cure cure the craving of course I also do have chocolate you know every now and then once or twice a week we'll have dessert and chocolate you know you really want a real sugar fix sometimes so anyway there you go so that's my um, what I eat in a day uh, maybe I gave you some suggestions if you have any thoughts or suggestions for me feel free to comment below and I'll speak to you soon